Okay, what is your name and where are you from? Yeah, hi, uh, my name is James. Uh, I live in Manhattan, okay? And um, what I want to do is I want to figure out what actually happened. Happened with what? With the virus. If, if they listen to what I'm saying, okay, okay, um, then in the process of figuring out what actually happened, should I be looking into the camera? Yeah, yeah, look into okay. the camera. Okay, all right. So in the process of figuring out what actually happened, uh -huh. okay, we can also, okay, we can improve people's health yeah. and especially immunity levels, yeah. okay, and reduce the cost of health insurance. What's okay. your thought of the uh, vaccine? Well, you know, um, I mean, you know, vaccines, uh, you know, when I was a kid, we used to get them every like year or every couple of years. Okay, I think I had like four by the time I was like 12 or 13. Okay, but now they're giving them, they're giving some, they, these kids get like 20 or 30 before they're uh, six or seven years old. So, you know, I don't know about vaccines, but, but let me ask you something, okay? So we can improve health, right. and especially immunity levels, yeah. okay? And on top of that, reduce the health, reduce the the cost of health health insurance okay oh. so and listen that's also reducing overall taxes right. okay so in other words what's going to happen is people are going to have more and more money in their pockets okay. now now during the process of reducing health care expenses uh -huh. and remember okay that Four trillion dollars per year is spent on health insurance in the United States, and uh, by by the year 2027, uh, that number will go up to six trillion dollars a year spent on health care expenses. Okay, so therefore, um, if we can if we can make that all um, work better. Okay. Um, at the same time as we're um, making it happen, okay, and we, we, could, we, we might be able to figure out what actually happened. Because um, my program will also include partnerships for perfectly preventative protocols promoting perpetual panaceas. Preventative care, okay, can make it happen. All right, and uh, that's another aspect that's going to be reducing the cost of health care and improving uh, overall health, inclu especially including immunity levels. Okay, and once people once people are uh, have a, a good immune status, that changes everything. Okay, but actually, guess what? It all boils down to almost all of your health boils down to your digestive tract. Okay, and if if you eat the right foods and have um, optimization of your uh, digestive tract, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have almost perfect health, and. Um, there's no limits to how great it can be, to how perfect your health can become. People got to remember, stop eating so much food. Stop eating. If Three you meals can... a day, no? Huh? Three meals a day is too much? Yes, yes. Two meals I, a day. I mean, day. a lot of people, a lot of people survive on one meal a day. One meal? Yeah. You mean like one big meal? Well, not necessarily. The, the, the less food you eat, the more your body is going to be. And the purer foods, too. Okay? The, the less food you eat, the, the sooner your body is going to be prepared to, um, you know, accept less food. And uh, you can really make it happen. What do you got to say about the people who have already screwed up their digestive system? What can they do to to recover or rehabilitate? Well, well, you know, well, what needs to be done is, you know, you, most people, including probably you and me, to some extent, you have a lot of um, residue in your, especially the last five feet, the colon, okay? Your colon is really has um, rotten 
Okay, so um, flushing that out real well is a good start. Uh, now, I don't, I mean, your, your, your microbiome, okay, your, your entire microbiome, uh, you don't want to clean it out too frequently, but, you know, that's another way to get, to, to start to really improve your health. Okay, cleaning out your, uh, the last five feet of your, um, of your digestive tract, the colon. Yeah. What's your uh, theory on uh, alkaline diets? Uh, you know, I'm, I, I haven't really, I don't really, I don't really. For some people, they say you yeah. shouldn't be eating acidic stuff. I think it's, it, it, you know, I think um, there's, there's a real um, uh, thing with, um, like, different, some people have a, a higher tendency of having an acidic levels that can really harm them. Okay, I think it goes on a case-by-case -case basis. But actually, guess what? If we were to um, put all of this stuff, especially related to the diet, diets, digestion, detox, and discharge, okay, on the blockchain, okay, you could really start to make really excellent progress in, in almost no time. And immunity levels would soar, and you would really... Uh, make it happen. www.walletswellness.com. Okay, go to the upper link. Okay, and uh, there's two sides to it. Okay, go first, it's a five or six minute read. The upper link, the first side, and then if you dare to care and share, you could also go to the, uh, the other side, and we can really start making this happen. But let's start with that upper link, first side. Okay, and uh, reduce healthcare expenses and really start to make it happen. And overall health will be improved, especially immunity levels. Yeah, did you want to ask me one, one last more? question? What yeah. are your thoughts on milk? Um, I think again, um, generally the milk that's out there now, which is you know like pasteurized and uh, with all of the uh, additives and uh. I, I think that milk is really not for, for almost all humans, okay, not that good, okay. And I'm sure a lot of cows wouldn't like it either. Yeah. Listen, thanks for stopping Thank by, okay? Okay. Be good, be good. All Listen. Right.